It's been really tough since my mother died. My sister and I took care of her for months, but in the end, I guess it was simply her time. It was three months that I was in Cincinnati, but now I can finally go home to my loving fiancé, Brad, my dashing businessman who's been climbing the corporate ladder for years now. Now he has his own office and an assistant and a big paycheck to bring home every week. What can I say? He treats me well. I can't wait to catch up with him. This is nice. I miss this. Hold on. I got something for you. I saw this little number in a jeweler and I thought of you. You like it? I love it. I love you. I will always love you. I love you. Yes? The Peretti's dropping us? All right. Babe, hey, listen, I gotta go. Wait, you always love me. Always. He makes me feel so special. Nights like this, his eyes all lit up, let me know he's the one for me. I don't know what I'd do without him. I mean, he's perfect. Handsome, funny, successful. What more could a girl want? Hello? It's Danielle. Hi. Oh yeah, I'm having a great time. Yeah, Brad took me out to dinner last week. It's a really nice restaurant. All right, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Hey, hon. Hi. How was work? Exhausting. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. How was your day here? Eh, yeah, normal. Clean up a bit, vacuum. How are the accounts looking? Well, we lost the Johnson account, but Johnson was a pretty big hit. Yeah. This tastes funny. It should. You two-time and no good son of a- Whoa, babe. Oh, I saw you in that office with that girl. I saw you. <coughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Look at me. <coughs> what did you put in my drink? You answer me this. <coughs> what about always? I never should have told you that. 